It's not for the meek and mild, for the timid, for the, for the profit-minded, you know, uh, 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 to pursue. Uh, only if you're willing to pursue value or long-term success or benefit to your customer that is that enables them that doesn't just doesn't sell something to but actually actually enables them to survive into the future. There's a foreseeable limit to how far they can extend Moore's Law. We're down now into the single-digit nanometer ranges for some of the feature sizes, and so if you go any smaller, it's going to be atomic size. Scaling or making the transistor smaller and smaller, that's happening, but it's coming to a place where it cannot be done any further without increasing the cost. And so they put a package around the chip so that it basically can interconnect with a printed circuit board inside the device, or it sort of scales up the structure so that it connect to the rest of the world. So that's where there's a whole revolution beginning in packaging now. Not typical packaging, but advanced packaging. So where you are entering into better performing devices, higher value, that's the space that we're interested in our advanced materials, make sure that we're uh, opening up a lot of processes. And I see a new trend where RDL first type fan out or chip blast type fan out is actually uh, gaining a lot of popularity. They have a reliable material that can go through all the buildup processes for these RDL first type processes. So we enable technology through innovation. And for us, that comes back to chemical and process. When we look at the future for uh, wafer level packaging materials and technology that we're developing, if you take the fan out wafer level packaging, um, they are moving into panel level processes and uh, we are uh, involved in uh, uh, developing large area coating methods, making sure our materials are compatible uh, with coating large panel sizes. So the go forward is, let's start stacking. Uh, three dimensions, stacking uh, different types of, of functionalities on different layers. Like all roads to the future, uh, they're difficult to recognize, they're difficult to create also. And so even now with packaging, they see our entrance into this area as an interest into problem solving, creating products that solve problems, when in fact we're creating a road that allows them to travel into the future, that enables them as customers for a long, long time to come. We hope 35 more years like lithography's enabled it for the last 35 years. Collaboration within the advanced packaging space is critical because it's in so much constant change. So uh, be aware of uh, where the customers are going. So engagement in uh, consortium activities actually helps us a lot um, to understand where the industry is going because it's not driven by one customer or uh, one uh, industry or one uh, market segment. It's, it's uh, uh, dry, uh, consortiums usually focus on larger needs uh, for the industry. Technology leadership is a founding principle of Dr. Brewers. He came out of this industry. He's a technologist himself. And so he believed that technology leadership and innovation could be a driver for business. We also know where that takes us and where that takes us is forward. And Brewer Science is always looking forward. That's in our very core. That's in our, our, our nature. It's down to the, the grassroots of Brewer Science. Brewer Science is the only company that is able and, and willing to devote the time and resources to create this road, to create an enabler, not just a product, to create value and opportunity, not just profitability. Efficient ways of packaging these different elements together so you can get the end result of having something like a self-driven car or artificial intelligence. Some of the advanced polymers and plastics that we make are allowing them to make these new types of packages. To create this road, to create an enabler, not just a product, to create value and opportunity, not just profitability. So that's, that's why we're here, that's what we do, and uh, so we're doing it again.